YouTube Kurt Curtis. So today I'm going to a card show. Um, this card show is super close to where I live and I did not know about it until recently. I was at a card shop talking to some guy and he told me that this show existed and apparently it happens every month. Uh, it's a sports card show, but I'm going to be looking for wrestling cards, obviously. So hopefully I can find some wrestling cards. Um, I'm repping my AEW hat to let people know that I'm looking for good old fashioned ass whooping wrestling cards. So I'll let you guys know what I find. All right, so here's everything I picked up from the card show. There was some wrestling cards, just not really as much as I was hoping for, but I did still get a couple good deals. Um, I only ended up buying stuff from two dealers. So I'll go over this first. So interesting story about this pile. About five minutes after being at the show, I show up to a table. As I show up, I see a bunch of wrestling cards getting picked up and put into a pile. Turns out the guy at the table bought the entire table and I saw really good prices on these cards and I felt super salty. I'm like, man, I was like just a minute late. Um, as the guy who bought the entire table is packing the stuff up, I asked him if he was willing to sell some of the wrestling cards. He said, yeah, I have a, I'm actually selling here. I have a table over there. Come over there in a few minutes. Um, I figured the guy was going to reprice the cards and, you know, put them to what their value was. But he didn't. Um, I guess at this table there were some wrestling cards, which I end up having all of them right now. And um, Pokemon and sports cards. The guy was mainly interested in the sports cards, but the vendor kind of pressured him into buying the whole table, giving him a deal he couldn't refuse. So he didn't care at all about the wrestling cards or the Pokemon, whatever. So when I got to his table, he had all the same price stickers on the wrestling cards. I asked him if he was changing prices. He said no. It is what it is. So I bought all of them and I ended up getting a deal too. So I paid $100 for this stack of cards. And there's some pretty good ones in here. First up, got a PSA 9 2022 Prism Gigi Dolan Ruby Wave Parallel. Not too bad, this only slab ended up picking up. Um, this Core Jade Silver was just thrown in for free. I didn't really want it, but he just threw it in because like I said, he had no interest in wrestling cards at all. Io Shirai Auto. Out of 199 from 2020 Undisputed. Not too bad. Here's another GG Dolan uh, 2022 Prism. This is blue out of 199. LA Knight Rookie. Not too bad at all. Out of 2021 Undisputed, I believe. Solid card there. 2015 Chrome Page Rookie Refractor. <clears throat> Here's a pretty big one. 2015 Chrome Alexa Bliss First NXT uh, Consider it a Rookie Card Refractor. So I'll get like a huge chunk of my money back just from this card. And then also there's a Gigi Dolan <clears throat> Rookie Auto out of Women's Division, numbered out of 50, 2021. So yeah, not, not too bad. A little bit higher end cards um, than I'm used to picking up. You know, I used, usually pick up like value stuff. Uh, but yeah, I was super salty when um, I didn't originally get these cards, but it ended up working in the end. I got them for what I would have gotten from the original dealer anyway. That guy got some of his money back because he didn't want this stuff anyway. And the person that sold the table wanted to sell the table, you know. So it all worked out. But yeah, man, I was super salty for like a few minutes. But yeah, this is a nice stack. Um, really good pickup there. And the only other dealer at the show I made a deal for was this. I paid $70 for this stack of cards. Kind of a bunch of random stuff. Um, here's some 2009 Cody Rhodes, Topps Town um, code. This code expired in 2010, so it's okay to show it. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what this is. I don't think it has much value, but I just grabbed it just in case. There's three of them. Also got Seth Rollins. This is um, 2015, I believe. Uh, 2014 and then the chrome version as well some aew metal cards the sapphire on um, parallels for the skybox premium 
These are the Blaster exclusives. We've got Ethan Page, Justin Roberts, Athena, Purple, out of $199. You can disregard the prices on the cards. I got everything for cheaper in a bulk deal. Uh, Purple Ortiz, out of $199. <clears throat> Jamie Hayter, Skybox Premium, Red Velvet, Turn Up the Heat, Intimidation Nation, Sammy Guevara. Um, I'm putting this set together. I think I already have the Sammy, but I'm not sure. So I'll have to check that. Got some yellow parallels from 2021 AEW. Brian Cage, Cash Wheeler, Luchasaurus. 2023 Select, Batista, out of 49, Orange. Axiom, Green, out of 75. Kel Gonzalez, 2022 Prism, Teal out of 49. There's a nice one, Dakota Kai out of 2022 Prism, Mojo Parallel, out of 25. Sol Ruka Green, 2023 Prism. This is a good one too, the Sol Ruka Mezzanine from 2023 Select. Cracked Ice, Nikita Lyons. 2023 Prism, Scott Dawson Auto, known as um, Dax Harwood in AEW today, from 2017, Charlotte Flair rookie, and a Mandy Rose rookie. So, <clears throat> $70 for all that, not too bad. I mean, the Charlotte rookie is going to be good, the soul cards are really good, the Dakota Kai is good, I mean, this is out of 49 some filler stuff. You can't go wrong with AEW Yellows, um, you know, Jamie Hayter, and these Skybox Premiums. So not too bad at all. Um, yeah, so this was pretty much the only value bin I found at the show. Um, well, I found another one too, but everything was overpriced. I only ended up finding cards, or ended up purchasing cards from two dealers at the show. This is a sports card show. Um, Obviously, wrestling is not, you know, like football, baseball, basketball, or even hockey or anything like that. So I was just curious to see what I could find. Um, a lot of people, I wouldn't say a lot, but a decent amount actually had wrestling cards, but it was just a small amount. Like they had more, they had more of like high end stuff and slabs and and stuff like that. There wasn't many value bins. I was hoping to find more value bins just to buy stuff in bulk, but that wasn't the case. So I was happy to see a good amount of wrestling cards there however i was kind of disappointed that there wasn't as much like deals on lower end stuff there but um you know it is what it is overall pretty happy about it i was just hoping to grab more from the show however after the show i ended up stopping at a card shop and i got a really good deal on these cards here the stack of cards i only paid 40 dollars for you'll see it was a crazy deal um, this first huge chunk is all AEW Allure cards. So we got some Red Rainbows, Powerhouse Hobbs, Ray Phoenix, Colton Gunn, Kenny Omega, Sammy Guevara on the horizontal, Star Futures, Jamie Hayter. Got a Black Rainbow, MJF. <clears throat> got some Color Flow cards. So I am putting together this Color Flow set, the whole 250 card set. Um, so I'm going to have to double check all these. Any of them that I need, I'm going to keep um, for my set and any of them that I have doubles of. Uh, and I'll put it on my eBay store. Um, I don't really have memorized which ones I need. I probably need most of these, but just in case. Um, these are the Red Oranges, Claudio Casagnoli, Eddie Kingston, Luchasaurus, Jay Lethal, Cash Wheeler, Nyla Rose. And these are the... Orange Yellow, Nyla Rose, Jungle Boy Jack Perry. And we got a Yellow Green, Serena Deeb. Also got some Orange Slice Parallels, Dustin Rhodes. This is a nice one, the MJF Horizontal. And also Red Velvet. That's just the AEW Allure cards, but there is more to this deal. Um, I'm also putting together the Blue Wave set. 
So I'll have to double check on these cards. Any of them I need, I'm going to keep. If I have doubles, I end up on my eBay store. Angelo Dawkins, Quincy Elliott, and one of the bigger ones, Ava Rain, rookie. I think I need those three, but I'll have to double check. Um, Disco Undercard Parallel, Charlotte Flair. Another one, uh, Papa Shango. This is the image variation. This is a pretty nice one to grab. 2023 Prism, red out of 299, Cody Rhodes. Dana Brooke, purple out of 149. Some 2023 Select, Valentina Ferez. Uh, was this one? Yeah, 175, red. Santos Escobar, blue out of 199. Purple out of 99. 2022 Prism, Ruby, Ruby Wave. Um, Stacey Keebler. 2022 uh, Solis Tacoa, red out of 299, rookie. Ivy Nile Blue out of 199 rookie. Pete Dunn Purple out of 149. And also Beth Phoenix Orange out of 99. So that was actually a pretty good uh, little card shop stop. 40 bucks for all that. I mean, this, this alone will get a decent chunk back. Um, I'll have a bunch of cards I needed. Most likely for the sets I'm trying to put together. And then, you know, there's MJF in here. Jamie Hayter, Kenny Omega. So there's some good names in here. So, yeah. But, yeah, it turns out this uh, card show happens once a month. I'm probably going to try to stop there every month just to see what I can grab, what I can find wrestling card related. But based on my experience today, I don't think it's going to be a ton each time, but I'll probably just have to, you know, find the select tables that are good, grab what I can. It's all good. Thank you guys for watching, as always, until next time.